This is Lifetime Now. Um, thank you for joining us. You know, whether you like it or not, eventually, everything starts to head south. No. <laughs> yes, it does. Not Mine true. did long ago. About what no, age? No, no, no. I don't know. Age? I think so I, I was about, ahead. oh, maybe five, six years old. Mine started to drop. <laughs> you know? That's a lie. That's not true. Well, hopefully, um, it won't be anytime soon. For me, though, my biggest fear is my butt getting too big. I mean, by nature, you said that's so about like a, a vertical. My butt getting too, too big. big. I'm really fearful of that. I mean, by nature, I was given a larger bottom than most. I have to admit that, and I've embraced it. I'm okay with it. <laughs> but I just don't want my butt to come into a room and say hi before I get there. That's my biggest problem. What about you, Sloane? Any butt problems? Do you work on it? No, I do, but little. thank you for that. Do you? Safe. I know. You I'm, that trying to, I'm trying to. <laughs> Let's get back to Sloane. We yeah. want to know the truth. Do you, you work on yours? Sure, I work out all the time. Do you work out all the time? I do, but I do nothing. <laughs> Let me make this perfectly clear. I do nothing. And you've got, and she's got the smallest butt on the no, stage. No, I so do what is not. <laughs> I'm full of dimples. It's like a very large Please. golf ball. It is. It we is. don't believe you. Know you. We call that on what? a need-to-know basis. Yes, I know. <laughs> we don't need well, to know. Well, I thought you needed to know. Frank's problem. <laughs> no, he doesn't find it a problem at all. I think it's only us that worry yeah, about Yeah, men things. love butts, no I... matter what size they are. <laughs> oh, dear God. I've heard this. Oh, God. Go. <laughs> Go. You know, this is a good thing for us. We've enlisted J-Lo's trainer to show us how to keep your rear end in tip-top shape. Hey, we all can't spend $125 an hour to have Jennifer's rear, but with her secrets, we sure can try. No buts about it. Most women wish they had a firm rear end. Since you're little, since you're nine years old, that's the one area that all women are concerned about is their butts. But if I don't do anything, it tends to drop. <laughs> we'll take any step necessary to get the jiggle out of our wiggle. When you run, you don't want it to be moving all over the place. You want it to stay in one spot. Women all over are searching for solutions. What kind of things should I do to uh, work on my lower body um, to look like Jennifer Lopez. To find out, we took Lifetime Now viewer Maeve Quinlan straight to the source, the man who firmed up Jennifer Lopez's most visible asset. So the butt goes back. You might call Gunnar Peterson the butt master. Lots of contractions. When we started training, the first thing she said was, I just want my butt to go north, not south. That's what J-Lo wanted. It took hard work to get it. If they saw her daily schedule and the way she worked out, they would realize, I mean, that's a, that's, she's the hardest working woman I've ever met. But you don't have to work out in a gym. Watch how easy these exercises can be done at home. Hi. Even while playing with the kids, Gunner says you can tighten your tush. You can do squats with a kid in your arms. This is just as effective as this. And if you have knee problems, just vary the weight. So how many should you do? Gunner says, as many as you feel comfortable doing. And go down as deep as you are comfortable. Turn your housework into butt work. Do a reaching lunge when you're picking up toys. Just don't let your front knee go past your toes. Even standing at the sink, take a minute to give your bottom a lift. You keep the hips squared, legs straight. Gunner says your backside will firm up, even if you do these exercises once a week. Just stick to it. You can just, you can get it done in some way, shape, or form. You know, body image is such a constant theme for women. I'm so sick of it almost. I, I am too. Historically, you know, the more voluptuous a woman was, the more beautiful she was. Right. Are we ever going to get back to that? That's I what hope I want to so. know. Boy, I hope so. Please. I hope so. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, well, I'm going to send my kid over to your house for you to do those lifts, and he weighs almost 30 pounds. In the meantime, we're going to take a quick break. But first, here's today in your lifetime. Why does the bride stand on the groom's left side in a wedding ceremony? Is it so she stands closest to his heart? So he has better access to his sword? When the groom faces his bride, he also stands facing her family. Or when the bride faces her groom, she turns her back on her family. The answer when we come back. So why does the bride stand on the groom's left side in a wedding ceremony? The answer is pretty clear cut. It's so he has better access to his sword. Oh. Yes. Yes. We got the right answer right over here. You did get it. You did get it. Yes, and, and the reason for that is in ancient times, 
when the the bride and groom were standing he would have her on his left so he would have access to his sword to protect her from probably her father <laughs> <laughs> but that's how groomsmen came about I and thought it was like for the steak at the party no 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 maybe at your wedding <laughs> it sounds so at my wedding I made sure there were a dozen groomsmen for that exact reason exactly. I didn't want anyone to prevent the wedding that I had worked so hard on but that is the answer isn't that interesting it's very it interesting it really really is okay that's it for us today you guys and thank you for joining us we'll see you next time bye bye, bye.